Hi everybody! So today in Literacy we're going to be talking about poetry and as many of you know April is Poetry Month so you've heard Lana read some poems and we've read some poems ourselves and today you guys are going to write your own poem. So let's talk about what a poem means. Here are some things that poems have to have. A poem needs a title. A title, as you guys know, comes at the top of a poem and it tells you what that poem is about. So I'm going to be reading this poem called Skating. It was written by a first grader like you and I can tell that skating is the title because it's nice and big at the top of the page. Next, poems need to make a mind movie. So a mind movie is when you hear words and you're able to see a picture using your imagination, using your brain. And a good poem helps you make a mind movie. A poem does not have to rhyme. In fact, I think all the poems I'm going to read today, none of them are rhyming. Poems don't have to rhyme. And just like poems don't have to rhyme, things that aren't poems can rhyme, right? Like a lot of the stories that we read, sometimes those rhyme and they're not poems. So your poem doesn't need to rhyme. And last, poems can use a pattern. So a lot of poems, especially um, songs, which can be poems too, will use a pattern. So I'm going to read this poem skating I want you to listen and see if you can hear a pattern. Ready? I'm going to put the poem up on the screen so that you can see it and read along with me. Skating. I curve. I jump. I twirl. I can do anything. I am leaping through the sky. A camel. A sit spin. A toe loop. A half flip. I do a split. I have the whole world at my feet. Did you notice any patterns in that poem? I noticed one. I noticed that the beginning of a lot of the sentences starts with the word I. I curve. I jump. I twirl. There's a pattern. Look, here's another pattern. A camel, a sit spin, a toe loop. Do you see how there's a repeating pattern that this person used to create their poem? What were some words that helped you make a mind movie? I am leaping through the sky. Do you think that this ice skater is really leaping all the way through the sky? Maybe not, but it sure helps me make a mind movie of what a jump might look like. So that's one example of a poem written by a first grader. Okay, I'd like to read you another one. This one is called My Baby Brother. So if any of you have baby brothers or sisters, maybe you'll be able to recognize some of the things in this poem. Okay. I'll put it up on the screen again so you can read along with me. My baby brother. Oh, first of all, there's our title, the first thing we need. Cry, 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 and drink, drink, drink. My mom calls him a greedy baby because he drinks a lot. I love my brother. Scratch, scratch, twist, twist, wiggly little baby. Laugh, laugh, burp, 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 happy little baby. Did you see any patterns? Let's look. I see words repeating themselves. Look, cry, 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 scratch, scratch, drink, drink, drink. Twist, twist, laugh, laugh, burp, burp, burp. So this person is using repeating words to make a pattern. What about a mind movie? Does this poem help you make a mind movie of what a baby might be like? 
wiggly little baby. Scratch, scratch, twist, twist. Gives me a good, good mind movie about what the baby is doing. So those were two poems written by first graders. Now I want to show you a poem that I wrote yesterday. This is my poem, and this is what your poems are going to look like. You're going to use one whole piece of paper. Your poem's going to have a title, the date, and an illustration, a picture that goes with your poem. So this poem is called Lucy. I wrote it about Lucy, our class salamander. Okay, I'm gonna read it to you now. I'll put it up on the screen. Lucy, yellow and black, under a rock. Slippery skin, slide, slither, slip. She sits on moss, green fluffy pillow. Wet, wiggling, wild, salamander mascot. Did you hear any patterns? I tried to make some patterns by using the same beginning sound. Look, slippery, slide, slither, slip. I tried to use a lot of s, s sounds. And down here, wet, wiggling, wild, I tried a lot to use a lot of w sounds. So that's how I made a pattern. What about a mind movie? Did my poem help you make a mind movie? I hope so. So today, you are going to be writing your own poem. And I'd like your poem to be on one piece of paper with the title, date, and illustration. You can write your poem about anything you want. Pick something that you really like so that you feel excited to write about it. You could write a poem about a pet, about your favorite toy, about something you like to do. You can go outside and observe nature and write a poem about something you see. You could write a poem about yourself. You could write a poem about someone in your family. Anything you want to write a poem about today, that's what I want you to do. When you're done, your parents are going to take a picture of it and submit it as this assignment, and I can't wait to see your poems. All right, everybody, 